Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to overlay sci-fi atmospheres into your footage. Now I'm planning on this being a three part tutorial. Uh, the first part is going to be solely done in Premiere, really, really easy. And then the next two parts will be done in Adobe After Effects and are a little bit more complicated. Now I had a lot of people asking where I got the overlays for this video and I created all of them myself in After Effects and you are able to purchase them from my online store and there will be a discount code that you can find in the description of this video. First off, when creating these atmospheres, the most important thing is at the very beginning and that's how you shoot your footage. Now for this tutorial, this will be very, very easy and all you will need is a shot that you used filming on a tripod. So there's absolutely no movement. So here's a clip of me and my wife. This was filmed on a tripod and what we're going to do is overlay a planet behind us right here. So we're gonna get the PNG of a high resolution planet. Again, they can be found in my online store and this is like an ice planet and we're going to scale this to where we want and place it uh, in the part of our shot that we would like. So obviously this is sci-fi, it's not real, but the goal is to make it look as real as possible. Now I don't know a whole lot about astronomy and such, but if you look at images from our moon, depending on if it's a full moon or not will depend on where the moon is in conjunction with the sun. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a mask. You're gonna click on the planet, you're gonna go up here to opacity so we can create a mask. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fade the planet and we're gonna fade it away from the sun. So just watch as I create this mask, like so. We wanna invert this so that the planet is facing the sun and then we're going to feather this mask. So that way it makes sense in terms of astronomy, moons and planets reflect light and so we're gonna have it as if it's gonna be reflecting light from the sun up here. And then of course the still doesn't look very real, but to add an extra factor of realism, we're gonna come here and we're going to screen our planet like this. And you can play around with the mask uh, the way you like, you can feather it even more. So this is a simple way of how I added uh, a planet to some of my footage, again, used on a tripod. And then you can also color correct um, your footage I kind of wanted to give my footage a bit of a crushed uh, silhouette look. And that's looking pretty good. Again, you can come down to your clip here. You can fade depending on uh, how much of the planet you actually want to see. And now so far this has been pretty simple, but we're going to take it one step further to add more of a sense of realism to our image. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring in another clip that you shot handheld. So a clip that you used not on a tripod, but you're actually holding with your hands. And this is gonna help us achieve the warp stabilizer effect in which we will actually apply to this shot to make it look like we actually filmed this shot handheld. So Premiere Pro crashed on us, but we are back. I had to bring in some of the clips again. Here I have another clip that was not shot on a tripod. It was actually used on a gimbal, but there are some pretty obvious micro jitters. So this clip will work as well. So we have our planet clip that was shot on a tripod with the planet put into the background. And we're gonna take this clip, drag it on top. What we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all of these. We're going to nest them. We're gonna take warp stabilizer and put it on our clip and we're going to wait for that to be done rendering. Now, once it's done rendering, you're gonna double click on your nested sequence, and we're going to delete the clip that we laid over the top of our footage. Get out of the nested sequence. So this nested sequence still keeps the information from our warp stabilizer, and thus it gives it kind of a wobble or a handheld look. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is a simplified version that you can do all in Adobe Premiere and you won't have to touch After Effects. A really cool effect that you can superimpose some atmospheric backgrounds into your footage. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see the other two parts of this done in After Effects, let me know.